This is an example of one of the training videos in our FileMaker certification preparation course at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. This lesson covers truncate table and question eight in the study guide. Truncate table is very similar to the delete all records. This deletes all records in the specified source table regardless of the current found set. There are a couple of options as you might expect and then there are some notes you cannot undo deleting all records that's important but let's just demonstrate this and kind of do a pop quiz and see how you do so i've taken our same layout that we used with this and i have a button for truncate table and i just took that same script and disabled that and did truncate table i've got a dialog on and current tables. So let's test this out. We are on 21 records, but let's just omit a few of these so that we see how this works. So we'll click that. Do you want to delete all 21 records? So even though we have a found count, it's going to delete all 21. So I'm going to say no. So we can continue with the script if we want. And also wanted to point out, we'd still have related records for Cascade here. And let's also do a new window and go into one of these and edit just to see if it will handle locking. So it's asking, so we're gonna say yes, delete. Cannot be modified because it is being modified over here so none of them were deleted would that work for a related record so let's go to a related record we'll just type in a few things we'll leave that there we'll hit truncate table permanent delete all 21 yes and it deleted them we still have all of the related it did not care that the related ones were locked. So we just lost all of those. So I will just add a bunch in so we can see how this will pan out for another example. And we'll do command equals. All of them were just serial numbers starting with one. So we'll replace that so we can get our found set back and we should have all of our related records. All right, good. So back in the help file, truncate table attempts to lock all records in the source table before deleting them. So it doesn't really care if it's related or not. It's only concerned about the source table. This script step may be faster than delete all records for large numbers. Truncate table does not delete related records, even if it, the relationship is set up to do so. And you need to have an account with full access privilege set. So let's look at the question in the study guide. You need to write a script that deletes all records from a table called temp invoices. Related records from a related table called temp invoice line items should also be deleted and the relationship is set to cascade delete the invoice line items records. To ensure all temp invoice records and related temp invoice, invoice line items records are deleted, which script step should be used? Truncate table or delete all records. Well, I see that there could actually be two ways of doing this, especially in our particular script. It just depends on maybe a couple of other factors. Obviously, this would delete all records in both, but it's only going to do the found count. So you'd have to add show all records and then this, and you'd want to make sure that the related records aren't locked. Whereas this wouldn't matter if you had show all records or not, doesn't care about related locks, but you might have to do truncate table for the source table and then truncate table for the child table as well if you wanted to do that. So either way, it would take two script steps to verify, but in general, since they are referring back to the study guide comments of if uh, you want to delete related records as well, use delete all records instead. Let's just see what their answer is. 
the truncate table script step will delete all the records of the current table, but will not delete child records, even if the relationship is set up to do cascading deletes. The delete all records script will delete all records in the current found set and trigger any cascading deletes. Now you know truncate table and question number eight. I hope you enjoyed this sample from our FileMaker certification preparation course. Visit ProductiveComputingUniversity.com for more information about the certification preparation course and other training to help you save time as a FileMaker developer.